Hello. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create new abilities. It's highly recommended that you watch the preview video, Understanding the System. There is a link in the description for this video. So, let's begin. We are going to write our custom role ability. If you select the character, you will see in the inspector that there is already a role ability. Remove this ability from character. After doing this, we have to create a new script. I will create the script in the script folder. I recommend you to use the same name that I will use in this video. Create a new scripture call it as custom role. You can use another name if you want. Or create any other ability that you want. Open the Visual Studio. Now the first thing you have to do is import the third-person system library. It's in, DOS Games, dot, third-person system. Clear the default scripts and method. Now, inherit custom role from third-person ability. Any ability must inherit from this class. Let's create a parameter to scale character capsule collider. Create a float value called capsule scale. Set the default scale value to half. Now, we are going to use the two methods that were quoted in the preview video, try enter ability, and try exit ability. Let's start by the try enter ability. Override this method. Also, remove the base calling. We have to think now when this ability must try enter the system. It should enter when player press the roll button. This is the first condition. The second condition is when character is on the ground. Let's do this. Type return, and write these two conditions. Use the parameter called engine. This parameter is a reference to the main controller. Find input manager, roll button, and select was pressed. Now, let's write the second condition. Engine parameter has a parameter called, is grounded. This parameter is true when character is on ground. Let's use it. Our first method is finished now. Let's write the try exit method. Like before, override this method. Also remove the base calling. Now, let's think about the condition to finish roll. It should finish if character is not on ground. So, let's use the same parameter before, but checking if it's false. Now, the both method is finished. But capsule collider stays the same. Let's fix it. There are two other methods that are called once, on enter ability and on exit ability. The first is called at the moment that ability enters. The second one is called at the moment that ability exits. Override on enter ability. But this time leave the base calling. Call a method from engine parameter, scale capsule. This method needs only one parameter, scale. Let's use our capsule scale parameter. Good. Our ability is finished. Return to Unity. We will now add this new ability to the character and then, set parameters in the inspector. Select your character. In the inspector, go to add component. Select custom role script. You can see that the inspector is automatically customized to help you. Open the animation section. In the enter state field, you have to write the name of the state used in the animator. In our case, this state is called role. Write role in the field. Don't forget that it is case sensitive. Check finish on animation end. Also check use root motion. To allow our ability run, we have to set ignore abilities. Open abilities to ignore section. Use the plus button to add crouch ability and locomotion ability. Good. Now, press play. Every time you press the roll button, your character will roll. You can change root motion multiplier in the inspector to make character roll faster or slower. Thanks for watching.
If you have any more doubts you can ask for support from email. The email is listed in the description below.